So we begin with the big issue. Despite a few cracks, investors remaining confident in a Chinese rebound. We remain very confident on China. There definitely are green shoots. Green shoots will, will remain. China will continue to stimulate. To really force money uh, into their system. Put a floor under sentiment. To create growth. To focus on growth over reform right now. And so these latest numbers aren't a problem. But the underlying picture is this gradual pickup. They have the firepower to do it and they have the will. The will and the means to put a floor under things. And they're, they're doing it and it's been successful. Joining me around the table to discuss is Mandy Zhu, Credit Suisse Chief Equity Derivative Strategist, Neil Duane, Allianz's Global Investment Strategist, and Keith Lerner, SunTrust Chief Market Strategist. So, Mandy, let's begin with you. Green shoots is a phrase that worries me, <laughs> and I keep hearing it associated with China. Right. Is it something that resonates with you? I mean, let me tell you something that might worry you even more. Implied volatility in emerging markets just hit a one-year low. Right. And that's with the Fed, with trade talks, yeah. with you know, negative data out of China. Investors are very comfortable with China. We're seeing a lot of upside demand for calls, people getting bullish, exactly what we just saw in the intro. I, I think that sounds like you think there's some optionality here to go the other way. Yes. I mean, on a tactical basis, we like looking at downside in the emerging market, just given how cheap protection is currently and with the slew of upcoming catalysts, right? Um, fundamentally, we are constructive. I mean, our house view is bullish emerging markets, but I think in the near term, with the number of catalysts coming up and with volatility as low as it is, it makes sense. What do you think, Neil? Um, in general, I would agree, but I would come at China slightly differently. I think China's going to grow at six, but it's going to feel like three to the rest of the world. That's what the German export data, the South Korean export data, the Japanese data is telling you China isn't really kicking on. But China's equity market is cheap and it's under owned. So I would come at it mm -hmm. simply from a valuation argument rather than necessarily because I'm expecting a, a huge growth spurt in the second half. And Neil, you, you make a really good point. I think it was an analyst that said to uh, Bloomberg News quite recently, we have to draw a distinction between a China that avoids a hard landing and a China that revives global growth. Do you agree with that, Keith? Yeah, and I think you have to look at China's stimulus a little bit different than 2016. You're seeing much more on the consumer side, the tax cut side. But I will say we look back uh, in 2016, uh, you had a big pop in PMIs the first month. And then the next three or four months, you move sideways to down. So we're coming off last month where we had the biggest rise in about seven years. So all in all, we still think the stimulus is going to work, but it may be a little bit different than what we saw. Want to bring in 